Crowds submerge individuals. This has been a topic in science and the media for centuries and has been illustrated in many movies. But would individuals voluntarily give up their sense of self? Would individuals be willing to make a sacrifice in order to benefit the crowd? We know that crowds suppress individuals, but we wanted to know whether individuals would voluntarily sacrifice uh, for the sake of others. This is a standard laboratory for studying human behavior. Participants sit alone in front of their screen, read the instructions and make a decision. Obviously, this is not the right place to study the interaction between individuals and crowds. We went to a public viewing event during the 2014 FIFA Soccer World Cup. How powerful is the crowd at such an event, facing the yelling and enthusiasm of the crowd? How many participants would be willing to make a sacrifice? We designed a web-based software that can be run with mobile devices. Participants played a virtual soccer game in pairs of two. They had to decide whether to shoot or to pass. Participants started with a 5% chance of scoring a goal and winning money. This percentage doubled each time a player passed the ball to the other player, finally reaching a chance of 80%. Passing was good for the team. But shooting gave the player the opportunity to win 160 euros, compared to only 40 euros when the other player shot. Three Mannschaften werden ausgelost, die das Geld richtig bekommen. Auf eurem Smartphone wird euch eine Spielernummer angezeigt. In der Halbzeitpause kommt ich wieder, stelle mich hier vorne hin und gebe bekannt, welche Spielernummern ausgelost wurden und gewonnen haben. Zum Anfang. We observed that individuals passed more often at the public viewing event than in the lab. In our experiment, half of the participants made a final sacrifice. They passed the ball when there was no chance of getting it back. This is a much higher value than normal lab experiments. We provided some players with the information that they were playing for the German team, while others were told that they were playing for the opponent. Sacrificial behavior was more pronounced among those who played for Germany. Those who played for the opponent were more likely to shoot rather than benefiting the team. Teams and crowds do not have to suppress individuals. We found evidence that individuals make sacrifices voluntarily as soon as the interest of the crowd becomes manifest.